Hello everybody, this is Will again from the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, I wanted to touch base with a few of you that have gotten the Chinese um, Tonson 3040 CNC machine off of eBay. Uh, when I first started out, I grabbed one and um, it's meant as an engraver, which makes this problem even worse. But what I'm going to be talking to you today about uh, very quickly is uh, calibrating the machine. The X and the Y travel on it was great, spot on. It moved exactly what it's supposed to be. And this works whether you're using metric or inches, it doesn't matter. Uh, just for to a uh, quick reference to show you what I'm talking about. Here it is on eBay. Uh, unfortunately, when I bought mine, it was considerably more than that. Nice to see that they've uh, got the price down. But anywho, this is the CNC machine, Tonson 3040. It's got the uh, 20,000 RPM bench motor, fourth axis optional. Um, it's not as important. However, if you do use the fourth axis, you need to calibrate it as well. Uh, but your machine would look similar to this, minus a few trims and pieces. But to give you a close-up, if you've got this machine, then you need to watch this tutorial. Um, unless yours came spot on, which I sincerely doubt. I'd be anxious to listen in the comments to see if this was just me or everybody. Like I said, when I first started out, I got this machine. It was economical. Uh, it's been a great little machine, actually. I've not had too much problems with it, other than it's not precise. I can just tell you, it's not going to be 100% uh, accurate. It'll be close for most jobs, and that's okay. Main thing I want to tell you, X and Y, I did not have any problems out of them. But when it came to the Z, as you can see, I've got Mach 3 pulled up. Um, it's showing that the machine is uh, approximately one and a half inches up. Um, that, that part is okay. The jogging, this is not as important for jogging, okay? although you need to calibrate it for it. The problem came when I was trying to cut thin material. Let's say an eighth inch sheet of acrylic. I take off about 15 thou at a time. And the machine, when it says it's moving an inch, it was actually moving an inch and a half to two inches. So instead of taking off 15 thou, it's taking off 30 thou. Well, that was okay for acrylic. I chalked it up to, well, okay, no biggie. But when I went to aluminum, guys, that's when I had the major problem. Of course, with aluminum, you can only take off like five to eight thou at a time to do it safely, slow. Well, it was doubling what it was supposed to be, so therefore, I was hanging up bits. I was breaking the bit, and I even broke the uh, handpiece. The chuck came completely out because it lodged itself in the aluminum. So I had a lot of trouble finding this information out. As you know, the Mach 3 that comes with the Chinese machine, the instructions are borderline uh, joke. So <laughs> I hope this helps. Anyway, what you need to do is go into settings. Uh, across the top, you'll see the, the tab for settings. What you want to be looking for is this area down beside the reset button. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, my mouse has trouble showing up in the video sometimes. But right above the red reset button, you will see set steps per unit axis calibration now if you're using metric this is super simple uh, to calibrate the x and the y you simply and we're going to do them all three just to show you uh, what to do but it, it's simple either way it's the same process on the x-axis you simply lay down a ruler that uh, has millimeters or inches whatever you want it to be and we're going to pick the x-axis first we're going to calibrate it how far would you like it to move for this instance, it comes metric, so you're going to have a hard time, and that'll be another video on getting it to truly switch from metric to inches. So we won't get into that. For this video, we're using metric. How far would you like the x-axis to move? And if you try to use the number pad in Mach 3, you're going to have trouble because that's dedicated movement. So use your numbers on top of the keyboard. I'm going to tell it to move 10 millimeters. I'm going to hit Enter. It moves 10 millimeters, or it moves. I'll put it that way. And then you simply type in how far did it move. And, of course, my x-axis is correct. So I punched in 2, and it says 320 steps per minute. <clears throat> Would you like to accept it? And, of course, you say yes. Now, on the x and the y-axis, 
they are the same for mine, 320 steps per unit. Uh, that wasn't the problem. The problem came for the Z. And so now we're going to set it on the Z. Guys, they had this programmed at 320 steps per minute. Although it was not 320 steps per minute, it was more like 410 steps per minute. On how far would you like to access the move? If I put in 10 uh, on this area right here too, if it's highlighted blue, it won't allow you to type in anything. Click on it, backspace, clear it out, then type in 10. Now again, this is going to raise the Z-axis straight up 10 millimeters. My problem was is it raised it 17 millimeters. So when I typed in 17 here, watch what it does. Instead of saying 320 steps per minute, now it says 376 units or steps per unit. Would you like to accept it? Just to be 100% safe, guys, you need to do this three times. A minimum of twice but just to make sure because uh, you're looking at such a a fine line there one millimeter going up and down does not sound like that much of a difference let's say that you oh it looks like 17 millimeters or it looks like 11 I'll just go with that you need to be a hundred percent sure and the reason being is especially on the z-axis if you are cutting anything other than wood wood you'll be safe on being close but on uh, some acrylics on aluminum, uh, PCB boards, whatever. You want to make sure that this thing's spot on. So we're going to calibrate it again. This time we're going to tell it to move 30. 30 millimeters, 3 centimeters. Now to do that, the Z-axis needs to be as low as it could go, obviously. Uh, and then we're going to come back down one, and, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So I want it to go 30 millimeters this time. The longer distance you go to, you could see a a difference in it. Now, at 10, it looked very close to being 17, but at 30, uh, now what I'm showing is 31, maybe 31 and a half. So I'm going to type in 31.5. Again, this changed my steps per unit even again. So do you want to accept it? Yes. Yours is going to equal out. Now, guys, I'm doing this on a machine uh, on my computer. I'm not necessarily moving the machine. I'm just showing you how. Uh, mine actually ended up being around 408 steps per unit, so somewhere in that ballpark. Once you have the machine all the way up on the Z, you need to do it coming down. Because, let's face it, that's when you're going to run into the most problem is when it's working its way down. So in this step, I'm going to do negative 30. Hit Enter. And that will cause your z-axis to come down. Do not put negative 30 in there, guys, unless you've got that thing all the way up to the top. Uh, whatever the safe travel is before you bottom out your machine. So don't do this calibration unless you've got the machine prepped to do it. How far did it go? Well, this time, uh, if it went any less, let's say it went 31. Make sure if you're going down, you use the negative. And whatever... You could do that three or four times there until you feel like you've gotten two successful tests. Then you're safe to run with that. So again, even with over 30 millimeters, one millimeter, when you're talking about cutting five thousandths of an inch off of a sheet of aluminum or doing a precise work, engraving or um, breakout boards, whatever, you got to have that thing spot on. And that was one of the major flaws I had with it. Thankfully now... It works pretty good. And another video we're going to be doing is how to set the velocity of the machine. And if you've not watched it yet, Paul Campbell puts out uh, five or six great tutorials on setting up Mach 3. Guys, you got to watch that. It helped me so much. However, he didn't touch on the calibration that well. So I wanted to, um, I'm not trying to do something uh that he forgot he just simply did not have the problem specific to the um, china made machine so with that in mind guys thank you for watching and uh, keep an eye out we're going to have a lot of great videos on cad cam uh, mach 3 different things and of course some um, fabrication videos which i'm sure you will love so that being said have a great day this is will from the smoky mountains will look like so
I'm going to attempt to do this. I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit so that you can see it. I've copied everything in Scoop 1 over because I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to show you how you're going to cut the.